guys, Erica from MaxSales.com, and I've got Dave from OWC here today. And Hi. We're going to take a look at the brand new 2017 iMac 27 incher. And judging from this tape we got here, we got it really, really quickly in stock just so we could tear into it, take a look at it for you guys. So I think Dave already busted into it. I did. I'm sorry. He ruined my Christmas morning moment. So <laughs> sorry. I'm just gonna. I'm too short to open this. Probably. Oh, you, you need me to open the box for you too. <laughs> I can do that. You open I can do that. Pardon my reach. Here. Ooh. Um, so we got the, the keyboard on top, right? Yep. Keyboard and mouse. Power cord is conveniently tucked inside a little pocket on this side. Nice. Here's the cord. Got the cord. And we have various bits of plastic protection for your safety. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I did rip it. So we've got, wait, let's look at the back real fast, right? Yep. What do we got? The little card slot. SD card. We've got, are they just USB 3 then? Yep, those know. will be USB 3s. So we've got four USB 3, two Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt 3, right? And then your Ethernet. Can you, can you start the peel down there? It's too long certainly. for my arm legs. I... <laughs> Quick, I guess we could talk about the, uh, the RAM. Uh, so it looks like this particular model came with 8 gig of DDR4 memory. Uh, as it ships, Apple states that it would take a maximum of 64 gigs of RAM. So I'll just peel out the keyboard here. We got the mouse. Whip. <laughs> nice. Set it there. Lovely keyboard. Got more materials, Apple sticker probably in here, right? Oh, we got your okay. user manual, we got stickers, probably a polishing cloth for the glass to keep it nice and shiny. Yep, you're right. I am. <laughs> and a little cable. Well, hey, now that we've got it out of the box and then we got to see all the accessories, do you want me to crack it open? I do. Fantastic. Will you? Absolutely, yeah. I will. We just did run a preliminary test and we were able to run 64 gig of RAM in this without any issues. This model you can update the memory pretty easily in, right? That's correct, inch. absolutely, absolutely. 27 inch has the hatch on back, which you just witnessed, and uh, it's very, very simple to do yourself. So the first thing we need to do then is open up the glass, right? That is correct. Uh, um, there's no way to get into the internals without pulling off the glass. Do this at your ways. own risk. But we have tools that we can get in with. We just need to be careful of cracking the screen. Too also, as well. yes, exactly. The, the important thing to note is you don't want to pry on it. Th okay. That's that's not the action you want. You really just want to be going back and forth and cutting through the adhesive that Apple has used to adhere the glass. No prying action, just yeah. back and forth cutting. Um, essentially the adhesive is uh, basically just a foam sandwich. There's foam with two strips of adhesive on the front and one on the back. And what you're really doing is just cutting the foam. You can see I started a little bit of a gap here. So we can start working the, the glass forward from the body of the machine. Um, as you start to lift, you may notice that there are areas that haven't been cut completely. So you just need to keep working it working. with the tool. Actually, here's a trick. If your iMac has these pull tabs, you'll see them sticking out kind of like on either side here. I just remembered that those things exist. Oh, nice. Basically, it releases adhesive quite nicely. And? Earlier models didn't have those, so the cutting <laughs> wheel was the tool to use. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, there's a, a tiny piece of trim that goes behind the aluminum face here. Mm -hmm. uh, several Phillips head screws holding it in place. Um, it's not absolutely critical to remove it in order to get to what we're getting after, but, uh, but it just makes it easier to have it off. Um, I'm probably not following standard protocol here as far as the uh, order of disassembly. Yeah. I'm just yanking this guy apart. We'll see what we got inside. Well, what there is. Yeah. Is yeah. so that a speaker? That is a speaker. That's when it helps to have that little trim piece removed. Okay, well here we've exposed the Wi-Fi card mm. and all the various wires going to antenna all over. Uh, and basically these things here are the antenna. So as you notice, it's you know about a quarter inch in and you're hitting the antenna. So yeah. you wanna be cog cognizant of that as you're opening. And we got speaker number oh, two speaker. here. The screws are just kind of fixed in there, right? Yeah, they are captive. Uh, they won't come out, but uh, there is a small cable for the power button, that uh, power button being On right back, here. Yeah. Uh, and the cable kind of snakes and runs through a slight channel. channel that is molded into the speaker. So you want to make sure to get that out of there so you're not pulling on the power you cable. Get it out, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, this, the cable here is kind of running underneath the board, so we're just going to set this to the side. It'll also give me easier access to two of the four hard drive screws. Um, now, this machine shipped with a Fusion drive, and this is basically just your average, Standard. everyday, three and a half inch hard drive. Uh, there are only three screws holding that one in? Yes, there are pegs on the side, however, which oh, sock it into up. this framework, so. Right on. Now, since we have the hard drive out, we could go ahead and liberate our speaker. Ooh, the lippy bit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. This portion could be slightly dangerous. Uh, it is power supply. Uh, there are capacitors on this board that will hold power even after the machine's been shut off. Mm. Uh, very, just use caution. Uh, don't touch any of the soldered bits that you see. Uh, try to hold the board only by its edges. Proceed with caution, you should be fine. So what I want to do now though is just get the logic board unmounted so I can get, get kind of, free. Yeah, yeah, get in there and get after it. Well, once they went to the slim version of the iMac, Things got quite a bit more difficult to uh, to do simply because of the glass. Uh, <laughs> but once you get inside the machine, it's actually quite easy to work on because everything seems to be consolidated into one, two, three boards and other you know larger components. Um, older model IMAX had a lot more moving parts inside. Well, I won't say moving parts, but uh, a lot more stuff inside that was more difficult to. Uh, to deal with. That is the main fan. Um, in past models, there used to be three of them in every iMac. Uh, in this case, there's only just the one that handles cooling for the entire system. It feels like something's pulling, like bowing here as he pulls the board. Uh, there's some sort of gasket. Uh... Um, there were some screws uh, in there that were giving me some difficulty. Uh, basically, they were kind of um, tucked underneath the board a little bit, so I kind of had to work it uh, from odd angles. Um, and it's different from how they previously had done it, so I wasn't expecting them to be quite in the placement they were. Yeah, hidden. All right, so really the only thing we have here is the SATA cable, which went to the three and a half inch hard drive, which we removed previously. And this is a newly liberated motherboard or logic board. Um, let's see, can we go ahead and just stand that back up and I'll set this guy down here. Uh, basically here we have the heat sink which is uh, directly above the uh, processor. Uh, it looks like the processor is not 
able to be removed or swapped on this unit. Uh, in previous years, going back a ways mm -hmm. in time, uh, they used to be able to be swapped out. It looks like this one is actually on secured the, to yeah, secured to the logic board. Uh, here is the other half of our fusion drive. This is the SSD portion. Yes, mm -hmm. the socket itself is fairly large, so it uh, helps keep it secure. And it looks to be a Samsung. And this particular one. Uh, here is our Wi-Fi card again from the front side, which is the view we were looking at while it was in the machine. Now here it is out. Yeah. And in this particular unit, the graphics chip is basically hidden underneath this uh, heat spreader here. And there we have it. That is the logic the board, the guts, the brains of the operation. So here we go. Here's the, here's the 27 inch 2017 iMac fully torn down. Um, there were some slight variances uh, from previous year models, but Apple is prone to do that. They yeah. like doing it. So that's pretty much it. Would you say that was easy or? Um, it, it's very similar to previous model years. Uh, Apple tweaked various small things here or there, but that's pretty pretty common for them to for do. For them, yeah. Yeah, right. absolutely. Right. All right, guys. Uh, we'll be back with the next iMac teardown shortly. Um, stay tuned to MacSales.com for more.